Which new councilman bribed the press for that one? Best town in America. It's legit, and I'm doing a documentary about Pine Valley to coincide with it. Go on in, guys. Right through there. <laughs> Actually, um, we're in the middle of Whoa. my... Haley, what? tell us more about this documentary. Well, it's... It's really nothing on par with what you did in Africa. I mean, that piece was absolutely beautiful. I see so many awards coming your way. Thank you. I, I got your sweet note. Uh, actually, so the judge is about oh, to Oh, and the way you left New Beginnings was epic. I uh -huh. wish you could have heard our studio audience burst into cheers when you told those suits what they could do with their opinions. <laughs> I really want you to be a major part of this piece. Oh, thank you. We can certainly talk about it. But I really want the first interview to be with you, Dad. Uh, Adam. We have a, uh, a ceremony to finish. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and any interview of me uh, will include, of course, my new wife. Of course. Right. So I, I assume you're going to plead not guilty. Who, who are you looking for? Madison. She came to see me. Well, what did she say? It's not what she said. It's what she threatened. So where is Madison? I don't know. I haven't seen her. She probably wants to stay as far away from her father as possible. Oh, come on. Let's uh, get this over with. Yeah. Hey, you know you don't have to be here, right? Not until they call you for a witness. Yes, I do. I have to try to save your family. A year? I've been gone a year. And you've let everyone think I was dead? All right. Try, try to remain calm, okay? Please, let me explain what happened. No, no. I won't worry. Greenlee, Greenlee, listen to me. You almost died. You drove off the road and you crashed into an icy river. I found you. I don't understand. Why didn't you tell everyone? Everyone had already accepted the conclusion that you had died. And before I told them the truth, I needed to speak with you first. But then you kept going in and out of consciousness. And then you got much worse. I believed you were going to die. Everyone had moved on, Greenlee. They already had a memorial service for you. But I was alive. Did you let them think that I was dead? I'm not a heartless bastard. Until I knew that you had survived, it would have been cruel for me to let everyone go through that all over again. But I did die. And it's been a year. Yes, but a year with no progress. I almost lost you on a number of occasions. I started you on an experimental drug regimen, one that I had researched for many years, one that I never would have been allowed to use in a regular hospital. I took you here to Gloucester and kept you hidden away. Greenlee, I saved your life the way I couldn't save Leo's. Or my daughters. And then all this time. Oh my god. I have to be tired. Greenlee, Greenlee, no, don't. Just... Oh my god. 